Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 3 Module 1 Lesson 10 homework. So let's get started. Number 1, 6 times 3. So here we have an array to represent 6 times 3. So we have 4 times 3 equals 12. So where they got that is 4 because the four, there's 4 rows and there's 3 in each row. So 4 times 3. And then 2 times 3, so 2 rows of 3. So let's fill in that. 6. So we have 12 plus 6 is 18, which means 6 times 3 is 18. So they separated it into 4 times 3 and 2 times 3. And the reason why, if you add up the, the total um, of those two, um, is 18. And so 6 times 3 is because we're doing 4 times 3 and 2 times 3. And 4 plus 2 is 6. So it would really be the same like doing 6 times 3 too. So yeah, number two, we have eight times two. So here we have four rows, so four groups of two. That'd be four times two is eight. And here we have another four rows, and that'd be eight. And then we have four times two plus four times two equals eight plus eight. So then now we have eight times two, which is 16, because eight plus eight is 16. All right, next page. So here we have number three. Adriana organizes her books on shelves. She puts three books in each row. Fill in the equations on the right. Use them to draw arrays that show the books on Adriana's top and bottom shelves. All right, so three books in each row. So on the right, we have blank times three is 15. So how many rows? Um, what we can do to figure that out is skip count three since we know there's three in each row. So we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So here we have five fingers, which means it's five rows. So um, um, here we have five rows. Um, we can do like circles or something. One, two, three, one. Just from here. So here are five rows of three. So five times three is 15. And now three, Blank times three is three, and we know that's one, so that's one row, because a number times one is itself. So that'd be one times three equals three. So now B says Adriana calculates the total number of books as shown below. Use the array you drew to help explain Adriana's um, calculation. All right, so she has six times three equals 15 plus three, which is 18. All right, so this makes sense because she separated the array into five times three and five, um, and one times three, where she got 15 plus three equals 18. So what Adriana did was, Adriana and one times three. So then she added the total up and got 18. So that was what Adriana's calculation was like. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.